In this video, we're going to look at what is called the opposite of a polynomial. We have already seen the opposite of a number by simply changing the sign on the number. For example, if we wanted the opposite of 5, it would be negative 5, changing the positive to a negative. Or if I wanted the opposite of negative 7, we would change that negative sign to a positive 7. So the opposite of a number simply changes the sign on the number. As you might expect, the opposite of a polynomial changes the sign on each term. So let's take a look at some examples where we change the sign of each term on a polynomial. We've got this negative sign or subtraction sign. It also means opposite, meaning we're taking the opposite of the polynomial. That opposite sign has to go onto each term, taking the opposite of 4x squared. Well, right now, that 4x squared is positive, so when we take the opposite, it's now negative. 4x squared. We also have to take the opposite of negative 5x. The opposite of a negative is a positive 5x. And we also have to take the opposite of the 6. The opposite of plus 6, minus 6. And now, we've got the opposite of the polynomial simply by changing the sign on each term. Let's take a look at one more example. Here again, we've got that negative or subtraction. It also means opposite in front of a polynomial. So we're going to distribute that opposite through, changing the sign on each term. The opposite of negative 6x to the 4th is positive 6x to the 4th. The opposite of plus 3y is minus 3y squared. Sorry, don't lose the squared. And the opposite of minus 9xy is plus. 9xy, and we have now found the opposite of our polynomial. The way we find the opposite is simply changing the sign on each term.